Hello guys, we'll be looking at the third program of the DBMS laboratory which is about the movie database. So firstly, we'll consider the schema for the movie database which has five tables namely the actor, director, movies, movie cast, rating and in the actor table we have the actor ID as the primary key. In director table we have the director ID as the primary key. In movies table we have the movie ID as the primary key. In movie cast table we have the actor ID as well as the movie ID as the primary key. Since it does not have a unique primary key for itself we consider both of these attributes which is referencing from the actor table that is the actor ID and movie ID which is referencing the movies table. So we consider both of these primary keys as the primary key for the movie cast table. Now coming to the rating uh, we have the movie ID as the primary key which is referencing the movies table. So creating table we have the query that is create table table name and the primary key will be um, to look at how do you uh, create a table and insert the values in the table you can uh, check my last videos uh, about the DVMS uh, lab programs that is the laboratory 1 and laboratory 2 programs where I've clearly explained about how to create table and insert values into them. So it goes similar way in uh, this thing also. So yeah suppose you have a primary key uh, if there are suppose two primary keys you can specify at the end uh, that is primary key of actor id comma movie id. So all other things remains the same as we have done in the last two previous program. So inserting values also goes like that. And coming to the first query that is list the titles of all movies directed by Hitchcock. So firstly you have to select the movie title since they have asked to display the movie titles. So select M dot movie title. M here is the alias name given to the table movies. So M dot movie title from which table we need the uh, movies in order to get the movie title so movies m and you need the director table also since they have asked the uh, movie that has been directed only by hitchcock you need the director table also so director d and you have to join both of these tables by using a common attribute the common attribute here is the director id so where m dot director id is equal to d dot director id and you have to specify the director name. We only need the director name. We don't need all the movie titles. We need only those movie titles that are directed by Hitchcock. That is why and director name is equal to Hitchcock. And this will give you the movies that are directed by Hitchcock. Now coming to the next query that is find the movie names where one or more actors acted in two or more movies. Uh, so they've asked you the movie names movie names is nothing but the movie title so select m dot movie dot title and from which table movies m and you need movie cast since we need the actors count of actors so suppose they've acted in more movies so we need the movie cast table also so movie cast mc that is the last name given to movie cast table you have to join both of these tables. So where m dot movie id is equal to mc dot movie id. So the common attribute here is the uh, movie id. So therefore uh, we have taken that movie id attribute to join both of these tables. And now the now you have to specify what the number of actors like one or more actors for that. And actor id in you will have an inner query that will count if suppose an actor is acting in more than one movie that is select actor id from movie cast mc and you have to group by actor id itself having you'll specify the condition count of actor id is greater than one you will group see you'll be selecting only the actor ids by using the movie cast table and you'll group by actor id itself and will specify a condition that count of that particular actor id is greater than one that simply means that an actor who is acting who has more than one uh, count for like uh, different movies so they've asked more than one movie that is what it's asking for the condition that's it so here spider-man and spider-man one are the two movies uh, movie titles uh, where there are one or more actors actor in two or more movies so according to the values that have been inserted the query has given us the result now coming to the next query that is list all actors 
who acted in movie before 2000 and also in movies after 2015 and they've also mentioned you have to use the join operation so the join operation you were using earlier that shouldn't be used you have to use the join keyword in order to join the tables so they was the actor so act so a dot actor name m dot movie title m dot movie year these are the three attributes you'll be displaying in the result from all of this you can like you can you should need to just specify actor a here and in order to join the other two tables that is movie cast and movies you need to use the join operator so join movie cast table that has an alias name mc on a dot actor id is equal to mc dot actor id here actor id is the common attribute between the movie cast uh, and the actor table so actor id will be used for joining the actor and the movie cast uh, table so next we will be joining the movies table so join movies m on you will specify the common attribute between movie cast and movies that is nothing but movie id so mc dot movie id is equal to m dot movie id so join you will specify the table on what is the condition so that is by using the join keyword and you will specify the condition where m dot movie year not between 2000 and 2015 since they have asked uh, before 2000 and after 2015 we don't need the movies that have been or uh, released between 2000 and 2015 that is why m dot movie year not between 2000 and 2015 next query that is find the title of movies and number of stars for each movie that has at least one rating and find the highest number of stars that movie received sort the result by movie title sort is nothing but you need to order so order by movie title so firstly you need the movie title so m dot movie title max of rev star there was the maximum review stars for for that particular movie so that is why the maximum review star from which table movies table movies m that is the alias name and you use the join operator in order to join the rating table and the movies table since the movie table does not have any information about the review stars that is rev stars you need to join the rating table and the movies table for that join rating r r is the alias name on the common attribute between the movies and the rating table is the movie id so m dot movie id is equal to r dot movie id and you will group by movie title itself and you'll specify the condition having maximum of rev star is greater than 0 that is at least one rating should be there so it should be greater than 0 the maximum of review star should be greater than 0 and you'll order by movie title so ordering by movie title is done and maximum of rev star will be done as it is so next one update rating of all movies directed by steven spielberg to 5 so they have asked you to update the rating of the movies that are directed by steven steven spielberg so firstly you will use the update query so update you will use the table name so update table name here is rating and you will use the set keyword so update table name set and the attribute you want to set that is rev star here is equal to 5 since they have asked the review to be set to 5 so rev star equals to 5 where you need to give the condition where firstly movie id you need to know which are all the movies that are directed by steven berg so where movie id in you will have a in a query that is select movie id itself from which table movies m table where again you need to find if director is steven berg so where director id in again in a query will be there that is you need to select the director id from the director table where the director name is equal to steven spielberg so that will give you then you have to after updating you will select star from a uh, rating that will give you the movie id and the rev stars and the movies that are directed by steven will be updated to 5 so that is all about the third program and the link to this particular notes will be given in the description box and you can access through it thank you guys